realized my friends were up here and they've been up here all night without eating, I decided to come take money out of my pocket and bring them food. Jake Mazingo delivered pizza and water to the fire crews battling the blaze at Adele Plastic in Lansdowne. And it has been a long haul, more than 24 hours in and no end in sight. Since we have started tearing the walls down, the roof, is, the roof that wasn't burned through has collapsed down on top of the burning material. It's a tin roof. Now we're having problems getting water down to the base of the fire. So as you can see, we have a crane in the background. They are um, actually getting in to start tearing the walls down, and they'll be able to start pulling the stuff out so that we can extinguish it. Fire officials say the fire burned fast and strong, ripping through the cardboard and plastic inside the warehouse. A former worker is baffled by how it started in the first place. There wasn't no smoking. I mean, there was fire extinguishers everywhere. It just, and at one o'clock, I mean, there's people in there. It's, it's just, I don't know, I question it myself. His heart goes out to the men and women who work there, now out of a job. I feel for him. I feel for him. I saw the one guy riding his bike up the road. He said he had, he, he just got here. He'd been working two months. He's got two children. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's rough. They're switching out firefighters every few hours, and they'll keep going around the clock until the fire is out. And community members like Jake Mazingo are thankful. Firefighters and cops all over the world, thank you for everything you do. Saving lives and risking your own is a very respectful thing. Fire investigators are still working to determine just what started this fire, and they say they will be out here until it is out. Reporting live in Lansdowne, Kim Day, CWBAL, TV 11 News.